neurovascular structures of the kidney in which the first topic is the blood supply and what is the arterial supply of the kidney. Arterial supply of the kidney is mainly from the renal artery. Renal artery arises directly from the abdominal aorta at the level of uh, L1 and L2 vertebrae just below the origin of the superior mesenteric artery. And the left renal artery passes behind the left renal vein whereas the right renal artery passes behind inferior vena cava and the right renal vein as you can see in this picture. Each renal artery divides into anterior as well as posterior divisions at or near the hilum of the kidney. The anterior division mainly supplies the apical, upper, middle as well as the lower segments and the posterior division supplies the posterior segments via the segmental branches. And here each segmental artery divides into lobar branch after supplying the renal sinus. And the lobar arteries are further divided into two or three interlobar arteries which passes between the pyramids. So here each interlobar artery divides into arcuate artery as they reach the base of the associated pyramid and they run parallel to the surface of the kidney between the pyramids and the overlying cortex. So here each arcuate artery gives off many interlobular arteries which passes radially towards the surface of the kidney and the interlobular arteries give afferent arterioles which pass to the capillaries of the glomeruli then reunite to form efferent arteriole. So efferent arteriole divide to form peritubular capillary plexus around the convoluted tubules and this is what is the arterial supply of the kidney.